Okay, here uh, I'm going to explain about 40 inventive principles. So I have made a uh, course 40 inventive principles. Uh, it's really intuitive. So I have made uh, this kind of material for uh, each of 40 inventive principles. Um, what is shown in the material sheets is actually principle number. Um, each of inventing principles has number from 1 to 40 and also has each of principles have a uh, principal name and so also the material explains brief explanation uh, about the uh, principles and so as I mentioned uh, each of the inventive principles is very intuitive so I have put some of the illustrations of examples of the principles and Another thing which is shown on the material sheet is uh, questions to generate ideas exploiting the principles. So how to use this question is when you encounter a problem, uh, please look through these questions. Um, some of questions may uh, activate you to solve the problem, activate you to come up with the solution to some problem. So, and this is how to use uh, the material sheets. So I would like you to look through uh, each of each of these principles and familiar with what 40 inventive principle is like. Okay, this pre uh, example uh, may provide you with a good opportunity to understand what 40 inventive principle is. Or, oh, well, you should know what is kaiten zushi actually. In Japan, there's many of sushiba, uh, which may be called conveyor belt sushi, sushi runs on um, belt conveyor um, in front of customers. So we could see many of 14 bent principles uh, in kaiten sushi. Uh, for example, one segmentation, so each sushi times or each sushi type uh, on each dish, and universality, uh, two sushi pieces on the same size of dishes uh, is running. So in normal sushi restaurant which is not running uh, sushi pieces uh, probably 10 around 10 pieces of sushi are put on one plate but in this uh, kaiten sushi restaurant each sushi types uh, on each dish and two pieces of sushi are on the same size of dishes and preliminary actions to making sushi in advance are ready to flow so in normal sushi restaurants they start to make sushi after getting order from from a customer, but in kaiten sushi, uh, they make sushi in advance and let it flow. And the other way around, um, sushi comes to customers. Uh, actually, if uh, owner of a restaurant want to save cost, uh, sometimes what they do is customers let customers come to pick the food up. But what this do is sushi comes to customers and spheroidality curvature and sushi dishes keep running and periodic action and sushi dishes periodically comes through customers and so the sushi uh, circulates running on a circle so even if you uh, miss a sushi it comes uh, after a certain interval of time and continuity useful action the sushi dishes continuously comes through customers even if you fail one sushi next one comes soon and intermediality uh, sushi dishes are provided through the belt conveyor and mechanics substitution a machine brings sushi dishes instead of human and probably the, many of these sushi should be made by robot um, inside of restaurants and color changes um, you may see different colors of dishes running in kaiten sushi restaurants so what color what this color means is actually color of dishes distinguish the price of sushi so as uh, can be seen uh, in kaiten sushi restaurant we recognized uh, we, we can recognize a lot of 40 inventive principles and probably around us uh, you may find out many of 40 inventive principles so another example is assembly line uh, also we can see here uh, segmentation uh, tasks uh, segmentalized so that a person can complete in a few minutes and universality task content are standardized so thanks to these two uh, inventive principles actually 
the company could save cost because、uh, they do not need to grow professional skilled person.、Um, But just segmentalizing and universalizing the tasks in, so that everybody can do it. So that, that contributes to save the cost of product. And preliminary action there should be various、uh, preparation for the line operation and the other way around.、Um, so the operator may move, but instead, in, in normal assembly line, products are moved by conveyor. And what the operator should do is keep repeating the、uh, same, same tasks and periodic actions. Our operators periodically repeat a few minutes' tasks and continuity of useful actions. Operator continuously w o r k on the task. This may be contributing to improve the skill of operators for each of their sections in charge. And feedback line operation stops when something wrong happens. This is collecting, always collecting information, what's going on in the line. And mechanic s substitution、uh, machines are engaged in various tasks. And what I would like to notice in, I have introduced 14 inventive principles in Kaiten Zushi and assembly line. So you may notice some of the inventive principles are common.、Um, Then, what I would like you to notice is that people solve problems、um, irrespective of their disciplines by generating solution ideas based on 14 inventive principles across disciplines. So, nothing to do with disciplines. You, the direction of the way of thinking is probably one or some of 14 inventive principles. That's the point what I would like you to notice here. Okay, this is all for this section. Thank you for listening.